Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? It is Armand here again with another Low Fidelity Dreams episode. Today, we're going to talk about an interesting topic here. I think it's interesting because this is literally one of the recipes of success if you're trying to do anything, literally anything. This is the 10,000 hour process. I'm sure you've heard this a million times over and over and over from different people in different mediums, but it is true. 10,000 hours is the only way that you'll get out of the tutorial of what you're trying to do. So a lot of people say 10,000 hours is to mastery. Well, I feel like I've hit my 10,000 hours in music and I can tell you from personal experience, I think after the 10,000 hours, I have successfully escaped the tutorial mode. And the reason why? Well, we're gonna talk about that in today's episode. So enjoy. So 10,000 hours, what is that all about? 10,000 hours, this is how we're going to achieve what we want, whether it's artistically, whether it's at work, whether it's in your family, personal relationship, whatever it is, 10,000 hours, it is what is required of you in order to understand the medium, understand what you are trying to do. For music, for example, I started producing music in 2013 and probably spent six to eight hours the first few years uh, just producing every day, six to eight hours. And that was after work, after, you know, I didn't have school, I didn't, I went to college for like a semester and dropped out, didn't really, it wasn't for me. And what I did was I actually got my two-year audio engineering license, which was cool. It was just so I can show my parents that I had some sort of certification. But I really didn't do much besides produce music outside of work. And so there's about 8,760 hours in a year. And we sleep for probably either a quarter of that to some people sleep half of that every day. And so you really only have less than realistically, less than 3,000 hours to achieve what you want as far as the 10,000-hour process goes. You know, you, you have to put in a bit of time every day, whether it's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, but it adds up to the 10,000, right? And so you got to think of it as like an experience bar. If you've ever played RPGs or if you've played Pokemon or anything like that, You have level system and you have experience. Well, producing music, releasing music, doing things that are related to whatever your craft is, that is experience. And then you'll eventually level up. Sometimes it feels daunting. You'll get to a point where there's a long streak of feeling like you haven't completed anything. You haven't done anything. But in actuality, it just gets harder and harder to level up. That's just because it requires more and more experience. That is the 10,000 hour process. The tutorial phase is what I like to call it. Because once you hit that first 10,000 hours, for me at least, everything clicked for the first time. And I'm telling you, I produced a lot of music. From then, 10 years ago to now, I produced quite a bit. And right before I started my Ex Machina project and all of, all of the Dark Lo-Fi Glitch stuff, I sat down and I finally felt for the first time that if I were to go on Ableton, I could produce anything that I wanted in my head. At that moment that I knew, okay, I have finally understood the basics. This is the step one. My first 10,000 hours was the tutorial phase. Now, how can we get there? Nobody said you have to sit there and produce for 10,000 hours straight. It's not how it works. There are shortcuts. There are cheat codes. I did it in a a time period where YouTube was growing and there were tutorials, but not a lot for what I wanted. Music school for me was very expensive and they were teaching things that I didn't really have any sort of interest in. I mean, they they were teaching live performance and things like that. I was a producer. I am a producer. So I didn't really click with the curriculum. And so I dropped out. You know, it wasn't worth me paying the eight, ten thousand dollars a semester just to go and have somebody tell me how to play a keyboard 
because I, I could do that on YouTube, YouTube University all the way. A lot of my experience came from watching YouTube videos and learning and then messing up, failing, failing so much, actually. And looking back at it, I've had moments where I would think, sit there and think, wow, my sound design is so trash. It is so bad. That was my biggest downfall. That and my low end, my bass. Those were my two weakest points when producing, all the way up until recently. And that was after my 10,000 hours when I finally realized what it took, how to actually view music. Instead of viewing it as sound, you view it as colors. You paint a picture. You find one little sample of a kick drum, stretch it, reverse it. You now have that frequency range that you can play with from the tonalities of that kick drum. You can create so many things, different dimensions, with just a single element. After I understood that, that I could create anything with a singular sound, it was off to the races. I finally felt, after the 10,000 hours that I got out of that tutorial phase, and that's what it takes. Now, the shortcuts. I think the best way, obviously, besides watching YouTube videos and putting things into practice, you really need to find somebody that you look up to within your community that produces and see if you can have them as your mentor. The biggest way to bypass all of the heartache is literally to learn from other people's mistakes, uh, their experiences. And if you find a mentor that's already been through what you are trying to go through, they can definitely steer you in the right direction, saving hours of your time. I remember spending literally eight, nine hours trying to figure out how to do one little mixing technique in Ableton. And now, you know, if I have one of my mentees asking a question, I can answer it right away versus them having to scour the internet, watching 20 videos before they finally get to an answer, then lose the inspiration for what they were trying to create and so on and so forth. Mentors. Always find one. And you know what's crazy is that your mentor could even be somebody that doesn't even produce music at all. They could have zero experience in whatever field you're doing, but they could have more experience elsewhere. That can also be, they can also be your mentor. There are many ways that you can actually shave time off of the 10,000 hours, but the one thing you cannot shave off is the 10,000 hours of experience. You can cut all the corners you want, but me listening to my music for 10,000 hours straight is very different from somebody else listening to their music for 2,000 hours straight, but getting mentors help to get on the fast track, you know, to the 10,000 hours. You're still going to need that 10,000 hours of listening experience because this will allow you to discern what's good and what's not, what you like, what you don't like. And this is all, again, from producing. You just have to produce enough music to know exactly what you want. I honestly enjoy the process of creating music, but also art in general. So one thing I like to always mention is that when you're trying to get to that 10,000 hours, you don't necessarily have to stick in that one medium to get there. We'll use Ex Machina and then Distant Ether as an example. When I created Ex Machina, I just created it for a flavor of music. I just wanted to create a flavor of music I can throw on while editing my photos for my other business. That got out of hand. I started creating so much music, and I enjoyed it. And so I started to create artwork, pieces of art for it. And so that in itself was another way of adding to my 10,000 hours of experience, creating album art. I started creating cassette tapes, recording, mixing, all kinds of stuff. And this all comes back to the 10,000 hours. Again, if you're trying to hit 10,000 hours of mastery or out of the tutorial phase for production, you can be a photographer and still get that same experience. You just have to open your mind and understand how each medium can relate to one another. If I'm a photographer, if I'm a videographer, how can I brainstorm a music video idea that will push my music to the next level. You need to think in different dimensions, in different levels, because everything really connects. I have like 10 different hobbies, and the best part is I found a nice way to link all 10 hobbies together and enjoy them all at the same time without feeling like I have to put one down for the other. Rather, I can do all of them, and they all push my music further, the experience further, and that's all it takes. You just have to step back and see what do you like to do. 
once you find those things, what are the similarities? How can you create something if they're not similar? How can you create something that is similar between them and then create a whole new wave? And that's literally what we're out here doing. Find things that don't exist. Make them. Find things that exist and create new avenues for them. There's so many things that you can do to push yourself further than the 10,000 hours. But just remember, until you hit that 10,000 hours, don't complain. Don't feel like anybody owes you anything. Don't feel like the record labels need to release your music. I think the one thing that I can tell you right now is that nobody owes you anything. The only person that owes anyone anything is you owing it to yourself. Because if you don't decide to hit the 10,000 hours, you'll never get there. You have no right to be there. Everyone can be an artist, but can you be a master at it? Can you be a master at it for yourself? I can do it. I can be an artist. I can paint for 5,000 hours, 6,000 hours, and I can call myself a painter. Fine. That's totally fine. But me subconsciously evaluating myself, could I call myself a artist? Eh, you know, that's subjective. Possibly. The self-doubt will start to settle in and imposter syndrome and I'm like oh god I'm not an artist I'm really not but once you hit that 10,000 hours that feeling just literally fades away at least for me it faded away because I knew I wasn't doing it anymore for somebody else's approval I was doing it just to create art just so I can create something that I can enjoy for myself I can just share with whoever was intrigued not having to worry about the smallest of problems of selling stadiums or getting a million streams or whatever like none of that really matters anymore just because I enjoy the music just because I enjoy my own music I wanted to create a flavor of music for myself and I did that and now I've got people that enjoy the sound too and I appreciate that and it's cool but I was never looking for anybody else's approval It just baffles me that there are other people out there that enjoy the sound too. Because it was really just a shot in the dark. I was just merging a bunch of sounds and things until I found some formula that worked for me because I enjoyed it so much. I realized that I had my music on repeat and I knew what I wanted as far as the style goes. And I continued and expanded on that. From each album, if you sit and listen to my first album, uh, what is it, Equinox? Then to my next album, A World Without, to the next one, Sunshine Suicides, and then the new one that's coming out, Midnight Elevators. You'll feel and you'll hear the progression in each album. So definitely take the time to enjoy what you create because that's what you got to do it for. You got to do it for yourself. And that's it. The 10,000 hours again, guys, is just a tutorial phase. Everyone says it's to mastery. Fine. But when you really hit that 10,000 hours, you can ask any artist that hit that 10,000 hours. Once they hit that 10,000 hours, it felt like they just started their journey. Because now you're not fumbling around anymore. You know exactly what to do. You're an artist. You're a master at that point. But you got out the tutorial phase. Now it's time to show everybody what you learned in those 10 years. And then the following 10 years after that, or 10,000 hours... That's going to be where you start to create the stylistic things that are deep within your mind. So, enjoy creating, guys. Never stop. Everything counts. Literally, everything. Even eating food, drinking water is towards that 10,000 hours. Be healthy. Stay safe. Enjoy. Have fun. See you in the next one.